All right, so in this video, we're going to attempt to fix some problems. I'm going to try to show it to you. It's kind of random, so it may or may not do it this time. This is uh, the second time they've blended out. So let's see if it does it. I don't know why my mouse is disappearing. Okay, so sometimes the one on the right enters on the left, but I'm just trying to recreate a problem where the one, yeah, there he goes. So and you'll see as soon as he gets up, something happens, it relinquishes this slot, and then he'll try to go over and sit down there where he is. And I'll go ahead and let you see that. Yep, and there we go. Really weird problem. So I'm going to open this up. And if you see that ID on them, the last four, and I don't know what's up with my screen, it, uh, this screen over here seems to be acting weird. Let me see if I can find it though. Okay, so this is the only clue I have to go on. Right here. So, what's happening is we're playing an animation. Uh, this is the contextual animation. This is what happens when we uh, enter the sync slot, it starts playing the sitting uh, talking montage, and right after that happens, that uh, animation montage, the blend loop that they were in before, it gets interrupted by that. So I've tried to stop it ahead of time, but for whatever reason, I'm unable to stop it so that it doesn't get interrupted because when it gets interrupted it automatically plays this on montage blend out and when this fires uh, it affects the montages they're currently playing in this other uh, contextual animation where they're synced together and so what it does is it interrupts the contextual animation causes a fail to happen and everything gets reset so I'll have to get back to you guys on uh, how to fix that. I've been messing around with it for hours now, uh, trying to figure out a workaround for it that doesn't involve uh, this other method. But for now, we're just going to have to use this other method to get around it. So on our animation blueprint in the last video, we set up this uh, blend, uh, this bench state. And on mine, it's just a general context one. And what I'm doing is I actually don't have a specific animation set here. What I've done is on mine, I've created an event on become relevant. And I'm just uh, uh, doing a seat. I'm playing a sequence inside of here uh, from a, an array of animations and I'm just randomly grabbing one. So I went over that at the end of the last video on how I did that. So if y'all want to try uh, to recreate that, y'all can. Or if you want me to do a specific video on that, I will. But it's there's a it's a little uh, uh, it's a little bit uh, complex to set that up. So I'm trying to keep these videos short. But I will go over that if uh, some of you guys request it. But anyway, it's not really necessary. The point is, is that we have this playing in here. And so what we'll do is we're j actually just going to disable these contextual animations in the, in the sync slot. So we're not going to play an anim animation in the sync slot. And in fact, we're not going to play, we're not going to play a loop, a looping one either. So we're going to disable those as well. We're only going to, and I'm going to leave them here because I might find a solution for this. And so you'll see I have all, uh, I have all three of these uh, disabled. Actually, I don't think I need to disable this one. I think the very act of not having a loop animation playing in these uh, and just having that play on the animation graph will fix the problem because the problem is caused when it, for whatever reason we start playing this, but then the blend out uh, events fire from the ones that they left after we've already entered this one, as I showed you uh, in the log. So we'll just try it this way first. And if not, 
then what we'll do is uh, we'll set it up so that we can just play uh, those play those as anim montages instead of playing them from the contextual animation. So with uh, with those disabled, what I am actually going to do is on this wait for control, I'm going to add a delay on uh, the transition out of this control. So when he gets control back, we want there to be a slight delay uh, so that he's not synchronized with the other one on exit. And that'll prevent him from trying to go over to the other slot. Uh, it should, but in some cases it may not. So over here on our contextual uh, animation scene, and if you want to avoid that, actually, you can increase this to two seconds. Uh, that's up to you. So uh, two seconds will decrease the likelihood that'll happen, but I'll show you how to do this. So on the collision behavior, we can say ignore channels, and that adds this uh, entry right here. We can add two members to that. And the first one will be for entry one, and the second one will be for entry two, and we'll add two uh, channels to this. And the first one will be dynamic, world dynamic, and the second one will be on. So what this will do is, while they're playing, uh, being controlled by this contextual animation, uh, their collision capsules will ignore dynamic uh, objects and other pawns. And so if it just so happens that uh, for whatever reason, another NPC walks through here and, they, and they're trying to get to that slot, then they'll just walk right through them. So it's kind of a fail safe, uh, but Later on, we'll probably do add an environmental query uh, to this right here that ensures that they approach the smart object. Actually, we would want to do it from here uh, so that they approach the smart object from a position that isn't blocked by another actor. So we'll, we'll probably add something like that to it later. So anyway, it's important that we have some kind of fail safe because if things are dynamic, uh, in some cases, it's almost impossible to uh, predict if something's going to be in the way. And so even if we do an environmental query, it may be the case that after we do the environmental query and our character starts walking to it, towards it, uh, that another character might walk in its way might walk in front of it or try to walk uh, through it. And if they bump into each other, it'll it'll knock because this one will be driven by root motion. It'll be knocked off course and he'll sit over here instead or he'll be sitting over here in the air or over here just nowhere. And so it's important that we have this fail safe just in case. Uh, so if there is some situation uh, where something happens to get in our way, we're not going to collide with it. So, anyway, uh, I'm kind of distracting myself with that. So, all that out of the way, we'll go ahead and test this and see how this pans out. Now, I wish it went and put this window here, but for whatever reason it does, and I can't figure out how to make it not do that. So it's really annoying, but. So you see they go over there, they're still sitting in that idle animation because that's on their anim graph. And here they are, they're still playing the conversation animations uh, like normal, and those will still be random because uh, we have uh, multiple or to pick from uh, on that uh, sync section. So we have two anim sets for each of them on that sync section. And so they'll randomly pick one of those. And so whenever they get up and they sit back down, uh, the one on the left might be playing the female uh, animation. And the one on the uh, left might be playing the male one. I mean, the one on the right might be playing the male one. 
So we just have to kind of see because there's no easy way to speed this up. And so we'll have to see if uh, this fixed it or if there's any other problems that I overlooked. And so it looks like uh, they're not trying to cross paths. So that delay seems to be uh, helping. And so far, uh, they're not, that other one isn't standing up, so it's not causing them to reset. That's a good thing. So I don't know really why that's happening. I don't know what a good solution for that would be. Um, I'll keep looking into it. But until then, uh, this actually kind of makes sense to do it this way. Because whenever they're in the waiting stage, it really don't make uh, a whole lot of sense for them to be waiting in a uh, uh, on an anim montage. And in actuality, you'll notice that those that hitching has uh, gone away as well. And the reason why that why it's not hitching anymore is uh, simply because uh, we have we whenever they what's happening. And I thought I was wrong before, but I ended up finding out that I was right. It's just that my logic that I set up during testing wasn't uh, apparently working properly. But whenever uh, that, whenever the looping montages restart, there's a small span of time, like uh, because the anim graph uh, it actually runs on a separate thread. Uh, from the contextual animation system and so the contextual animation system restarts it but what happens is because it, it's not in sync its thread is not in sync with the one that the animation montage is on uh, what happens is there's actually one frame uh, like one or two frames uh, where the anim graph uh, has already blended out or it has already started blending out of this slot and then it restarts and it blends back into it. And so it blends out into uh, this main state. And if we don't have him in uh, a sitting position uh, that's relative to the context of what he's currently doing, then he'll blend out into a, an idle uh, state, which has him standing. And that's why you, you've seen that hitching before. So, uh, and that's also why this fixed it. And it looks like all those problems uh, got fixed by that solution. So I don't know why it's doing that because uh, that's weird. I'll look into it, guys, and see why it did that. But for some reason, whenever we're in this looping section and we use an event to uh, leave that section, apparently this keeps playing. I don't know why, but it keeps playing. And I don't know how to stop it. I've tried stopping it. In fact, I this is what I tried early out contextual anim scene, which was the only one that seemed to indicate that we might be able to blend it out uh, that was available from uh, blueprints and then I even tried just stopping all slot animations on the default slot with the zero blend out time and that did not help either so it still did it in both cases no matter where I did it from and, and that might have just been a timing issue but since these have to play back to back there's no way that you can add a delay between because it'll cause problems. Uh, so this seems to be the only solution for now is to just disable these. And then uh, add a delay here, you know, one or two seconds. That'll give them enough time for uh, this guy to stand up so that if they do re-enter it, in actuality, that's not gonna be a problem in the actual game. So anyway, I'm uh, talking circles over here, but. Uh, I will look into the problem with the animation where the feet slide whenever they're transitioning from the walk cycle into the enter uh, transition, enter bench transition. 
and I will probably come out with a video on how to fix that. I'll see you guys later.